Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I hope everybody's doing awesome today. I just want to say um, I'm very grateful for all the new subscribers and I appreciate all your comments. They're very beautiful, um, energetic. They're just lovely and I'm very honored and humbled. <laughs> um, you know, it's just... It kind of feels odd for me sometimes on this end of the spectrum. I didn't expect the responses that I get, and and it's very delightful and 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 beautiful. And you know, I, I'm just grateful that to know that I'm capable of uh, helping others, and that really brings me great joy. I love you guys, and uh, I'm hoping that your day today is awesome so thank you so much if you could i'd appreciate if you would like this video the more likes i get the more i go out into the allegro from the um into the collective i go out into the collective i can't say that word i know what it means it means that the more likes i get uh, the more likely it'll push out like into the ocean of people uh so you know, if you could like it, I would sure appreciate it. Thank you so much. And with that being said, we're going to start out with the chakra deck today, the Vivitus deck. It's got, you know, answers on it and explanations and colors of the chakras being used and all that good stuff. As we progress into our healing progress into creating our new selves for this new world that's coming. It's very important that we focus on our energy and cleansing our energy and, you know, establishing ourselves at a place that's completely positive and high vibing and full of love. And the first place you want to start is the unconditional love with yourself. You want to be kind to yourself. You don't want to, you know, say ugly things to yourself. You want to hug yourself and coax yourself through everything that you're going as if you are a coach, except you're coaching yourself. You're, you're, you're being your own best cheerleader. And uh, the divine loves that. And drinking plenty of water. Water is very important. I actually watched a lecture on water that for every time our body gets even six ounces low on water, it it harms our DNA strand. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're getting that water, staying hydrated, and um, staying as happy as you can, working through any disappointments to the best of your ability. And what are we going to start with today? For the Creator, we get Eight of Pentacles. The creator's working hard. Working hard on earthly matters. And what will we get for the Divine Masculine? Judgment. Yes, beautiful colors beautiful a beautiful card a wonderful card it's uh, rising again coming back making a big comeback for the divine masculine yeah standing up for the call and that's what i see here see standing up to the call divine masculine ever i dare is the title meeting the call meeting them okay and let's see what we get for Divine Feminine. Ooh, these cards just want to jump out everywhere. Let's try again. Holy Spirit, give us something that we can work with. Goodness, let me try a shuffle, maybe. Let me try a shuffle. Let's see what we got to work with. Take it directly off the top. And we have King of Pentacles for the Divine Feminine. And now we're going to set these over here. And we're going to look at the Divine Creator's card. And it says, Aspiration, Apprentice, Education, Hard Work, Concentrated, Diligence, Talent in the Art or Craft, Perfectionist, 
develop and grow. Sun and Virgo, be practical about your spirituality. Um, you know, just keep going in the direction that you're going right now. And God says you're doing it step by step practicality. Um, this is a like an apprenticeship. When we begin learning about spirituality and healing and um, taking in the bigger picture that can bring us the healing after everything we've been taught in the material world. We have thought that healing was all about going to the doctors and the doctors knows best. But now we're beginning to realize that we absolutely have to include the spiritual world into our healing world uh, because that's where our healing comes from. It's in our body. It's automatic. We're... Um, we're, we're made like resourceful. Our healing abilities are within us and we just have to go within and work on those abilities. Um, such as if you have pain during, and you, you meditate, you would want to take a few deep breaths and gather yourself and then send energy to where that pain is at. Focus your mind on actually, you know, directing that energy. You, you just focus and, and know where you want it to go, and it will go there. And it will take down swelling. It will help. We have it within us to heal. The waters within us are living waters, and they are healing waters as well. And again, we come back to the water. You need to drink plenty, plenty of water. It's a work in progress, healing is. It doesn't happen in all one stroke. Um, it's also, God says, a lot to do with calming yourself down. Being calm enough and having enough restfulness within you to focus on what you want, such as healing in your heart, where you would want to send your energy into your heart to look for the places that are hurt or broken or need repair. And praying over your heart, those waters, praying over it, meditating over it, and loving it. Tell your heart you love it for what it does because it's actually a living organism. And it needs to know these things. You need to reaffirm yourself and your own health and your own wealth within yourself. It's all within us. We have living waters within us. I watched a lecture on it today. Um, how we think affects everything within our soul and our body. And healing is feeling and feeling is healing and we have to convince ourselves of what we need to feel and the brain if it's been programmed a certain way will have a hard time switching gears but it is possible you know with a couple minutes of meditation a day cleansing your energies as i was talking to you guys about with your chakras and just continuously doing your best to find the joy of life in the simple things of life and let the big heavy duty things go if you possibly can let the past go don't worry about it anymore it's in the past and direct your mind towards the future okay let's see what mama gaia has to say to us about this and this is a work, and I was asked this morning to talk to you guys about your healing, encouraging you in your healing, encouraging you in loving yourself, giving to yourself what you need, taking those few minutes to an hour a day to be to yourself, to read something you love, to just sit and breathe, to restore energy that you've been given out, and to relax and rest 
and these are some of the best ways to heal if you can afford that time. Yeah, if you can give yourself that hour's worth of energy a day would make a miracle change in your life. Yeah, you're worth it too. You're worth it. 30 minutes, 15. Even if it's only 15 minutes a day that you can sit and breathe and regulate your body and your, your circulatory system will help so much. And make sure to drink plenty of water and, you know, rest and laughter and enjoyment helps so much too. I see what Mama Gaia has to say. I love you guys. Yeah, balance. Yeah, she's asking us to balance all those eggs we have in that basket, all those things we want to do and need to do, and prioritize self. Yeah, prioritize your resources, your energy. You know, energy, money, um, balance, family, uh, work, and to do your best to balance out these things and make sure that you spend some time balancing yourself and giving to yourself what you need. We have two pentacles here, or two earth signs, and, you know, it's about earthly matters that affect your whole system and you want to keep those earthly matters at bay with your faith and hope always have faith and hope because up to this point your life has worked out right and it's worked out whether you worried about it or whether you didn't worry about it so having faith and hope, knowing that the future is going to work out in the best way possible for the experience and for the education or the learning you need. So we don't worry about the future. We look at it with gladness and, you know, we're anxious, but we don't worry about it. We live right now, right here in the present moment as we're working on learning how to heal find patience, find love within ourselves, to love ourselves unconditionally because that is the highest vibration that you can get in the universe is to love yourself unconditionally regardless of where you've been, regardless of what you went through, regardless of what you've done, and through that love, make your amends. Because if you hate yourself and you don't like yourself, you're only going to cause and bring harm unto yourself. And that's the truth. So love yourself. You are a gift from God for yourself as you're working your way through this world. Balance. But the first thing you want to make sure you get balanced is yourself. You know, there's no shame in going to your room for an hour and doing something that you love. You know, breaking away from all the energies around you, whether it's kids, husbands, wife, neighbors, family, and just kind of investing in you for an hour. And when you come out, you are going to feel like, yeah, like a gift. You're going to feel so much better. Ace of Pentacles, again, Pentacle, we're talking about the body. We're talking about the money. We're talking about material things. And your body is a material thing that needs to be taken care of as much as your car needs to be taken care of, as much as the kids need to be taken care of. You need to take care of your body as much as you need to do anything else in this world. And your body requires rest, good nutrition, patience and love for it to be running well for your mind to run well right amen there's another eight yeah to feel like the maiden to feel young refreshed you want to feel young refreshed go to bed earlier an hour earlier tonight 
Let's get your rest. To a fire. Making choices that will help you to glow up. Making choices that will bring more joy and satisfaction into your life. This is two of wands. It's about making choices. You know, you can choose to sit up and watch that program or the news for an hour extra. Or you could say, you know what, I think I'm going to go daydream. I'm going to go lay in my bed and dream of what could be tomorrow. To imagine things in my life, to manifest them. You know, I'm going to take an hour to rest. I'm going to bed earlier. I'm going to drink more water. I'm going to smile more. I drink about three or four of these a day. I don't know if it's enough, but, and I love to put ginger in my water. It's a fiery element, um, spice, makes the water taste nice and, you know, spicy, delicately, but a little spicy. And it burns away all pathogens, things that shouldn't be in there. It's a really kind of a, you know, a blood cleanser. It cleanses the blood. It's amazing how just little things can make all the difference in the world. I've been doing it for about five years now, every day, every day. And um, it, it works. I, I can tell the difference in my energy when I'm not gotten ginger water and when I do have ginger water. It just has natural fire, natural energy. Another natural healing energy is love. And this card portrays, depicts love of self. And do you see that self-love, how it vibrates out? Uh, when you love, learn to love yourself for who you are, have compassion on yourself, have mercy on yourself, coax and guide yourself as if you were your own parent, uh, say the things to you that you wished mom and dad had or somebody that really really cared for you would say you you say these things to yourself and watch how your body and spirit soul mind react to them it will change everything in your life when you begin to be kind and gentle with yourself you will begin to be kind and gentle with everybody we only treat people we the way we treat people is basically the way we treat ourselves. So, and we might not even notice we're treating ourselves like that. We just might notice how we treat others, but we need to know that how we treat others is how we treat ourselves. Yeah, we have a choice. We have a choice to love ourselves as a child of God and, you know, be happy and grateful to be here and experiencing all these things that we're experiencing, whether they are good or bad, they are necessary in our life. We can't just have all good all the time. We would never learn anything. So we have to have choices to make so that we can learn to make better choices. It all started in the Garden of Eden somebody made a wrong choice and that was the beginning of our learning from there on out we learned we've learned so much over time about making choices and how choices affect everything and how we need to be careful and choose you know the innocent side of life and that's a good message that's the eight of wands yeah, what well, our choices will affect everything. And once we begin observing the choices we make, and we definitely need to observe those choices. We got that here. Watch your choices from both sides, different angles. You know, examine them and see if they are bringing into your life the love, the kindness, the gentleness, or however you 
expect your life to be that would be perfect for you. For me, life is good when everybody is kind of like, I like kindness and gentleness and, you know, love talk. To me, this is, this is life, you know, smiling as you walk through the house. Hopefully everybody else is smiling too. And, um, you know, just, just, just a good place of peace and love that you can think of creative things because that's how you, you, you become a creator. You, you need a wonderful space to think about creating things. And you can only do that when you're at peace, when you're at peace and when you feel love all around you. And then, you know, like here, I feel when I come here, I feel at peace. I feel love. I feel love. I feel love from God flowing into me, love for myself flowing into me. And I can feel that flowing outward. And that is how I like to live. I like to live through love, emotional emotions. I'm very emotional. You know, I cry, I laugh, I sing, I, you know, do whatever you need to do. Another thing I do is listen to 369 frequencies. They calm the waters within your body. The living waters need to be talk to gently so that you don't feel rattled because they're living waters. If you get hollered at or screamed at or you get mad at yourself, you just literally rattle your waters. Hmm. Well, I didn't know what that was. Something happened on the top of my phone. So you want to protect the waters within your body. You want to counsel yourself. That's what that says right there, the counselor. Yeah, you want to counsel and love yourself as if you were your own best friend. You are your own best friend. Nobody's going to keep your back like you're going to keep your back. You will be honorable and true to yourself as soon as you figure out what yourself wants. And that's, that's how we begin to heal. We have to study ourselves. We have to watch ourselves. We have to be aware of who we are. We have to be aware of the choices we're making. We have to be aware of where we're going. We have to be aware of what we're doing. We have to prepare our jugs of water to take with us through the day. And that takes planning. Talking to water makes me all thirsty. And again, I want to come back to that. Um, six ounces of water in your body that you lose and don't get replaced, a strand of DNA disappears off your spine. That's something that's within you that you need. You need that. You need water. You need lots of water. You need to drink liquids all day long. Because we are just a floating bucket ocean. We're an ocean. And you do not want to let your waters get low because water is life. Water is life. Drink your water. Give up the Cokes. Give up sodas. Give up the uh, sugary and sweet juices. Make sure you drink all natural juices. But drink lots of water. Living water. Drink it and heal. Heal through the love of yourself by watching over yourself. Let yourself know this. This will be the last. And walk in faith. Believe that you are a miracle. And within you are many miracles waiting to happen and be exposed. That through you the universe is showing off through you. God, creator, the universe is inside of you as well and is showing off. And faith, believing in what you're doing only solidifies it. So if you believe what you're doing in faith and it seems good to you, then it will seem good to God, creator. Everything you do, do it believing that it will work for you.
that God is for you, that the universe is for you. Uh, cultivate a positive attitude that you're loved. Cultivate that attitude that you're loved. Because through that attitude of you are loved, you will begin to love yourself. Right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Light yourself up with love. Light yourself up with your love of believing that you are loved by the universe and proving it by loving yourself and taking good care of yourself and watching over yourself and teaching your children because as you heal, they're going to heal. This is how we keep from passing the sins of the fathers down to the children. We learn to love ourselves. We learn to love our children properly. And they, in turn, learn to love themselves, too, and teach your children to love themselves. Make sure you ask them every day, why you love yourself today? You know, is it because you were good? Did you do something good? You know, find out why they love themselves and encourage them to love themselves because they are good. And they do good. Because through good is how we win. By being good to ourselves and by being good to others. It's a win-win situation. And you will win everybody, everybody over with love. As my mom used to say, you'll get more flies with honey than you will with vinegar. So start practicing deep, deep loving kindness towards yourself, and it will expand out to others. Thanks, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>